In my last video, I explained how to send a file from your computer to the CNC laser. And in this video, I'll show you how to run that file and a few tips about the laser that'll help you improve your skills with this machine. I'm going to be dealing specifically with the Epilog Helix laser since this is the machine we have in our shop. Your laser system might be a little bit different. As always, consult your operator's manual for the best practices on your laser. This video is intended to cover the basics. The CNC laser is actually a very simple machine to operate. However, simple mistakes can cause big problems and expensive repairs. So we always have to carefully check our jobs to ensure the settings are right and follow the proper steps when running a file. By now, we already have our file prepared on the computer and the settings configured. To see how to prepare your files and configure your print settings, check out my other videos in this series. As soon as we click print in our computer program, the job is sent to the laser. You should see the name of the job show up in the job queue on the machine's display. This is why we should always save our computer files with descriptive names, so we can easily identify them here. When the machine is powered down, jobs in the queue are cleared, so it is a good idea to make a note of the print settings that were used in case you need to run the same files again another day. You can access different jobs in the queue by pressing the up and down arrows. Before running the file, you should take a look at your table to see how far away it is from the laser head. In this case, the head is very close to the table. I need to lower the table before putting my material on the bed and starting my file. If the table is too high and you place your material and try to run the file, the print head will jump out from its park position to focus, ramming the focus plunger into the side of your material. This can cause damage to the machine. To lower the table before running the file, press the right arrow to enter focus mode. Now you can use the up and down arrows to jog the table up and down. Once the table is lowered, you can position your material. For this example, I'll be cutting from a quarter inch thick piece of maple plywood, and I need to position my material on the laser bed the same way I told the laser it would be in my computer program. Since I made my graphics in the upper left corner of my sheet on the computer, that is where I need to put the material for cutting. Remember that the laser homes to the upper left corner. With the material firmly pressed against the top and side rulers, I can now close the glass. Later in this video, I will show you how to manually focus the laser, but for this example I've selected autofocus in my print settings because I'm cutting on a piece of uniform thickness, so I don't need to manually focus. The next couple of steps are very important. Before you begin running your file, make sure that your laser's exhaust fan is turned on. The laser creates a lot of smoke when it cuts or engraves, and on plastic or foam that smoke can be toxic. If the exhaust fan is not on, the smoke will fill the machine and the lab. This can cause permanent damage to the machine and create a dangerous situation for everyone in the workshop. The exhaust must be on while running a file. When the file is done, the exhaust should be shut off. When vector cutting, it is also important to turn on the air assist pump. This little pump directs air to a nozzle near the material surface. It helps to blow dust and debris away from the laser beam and prevents flare-ups that can occur while cutting. Flare-ups can cause material to catch fire if they're not carefully monitored. So the air assist pump should always be on during vector cutting, then turned off after the file is complete. So now the bed is lowered, your material is ready, your exhaust is on, and so is the air assist pump. You can now press the left arrow key to go from focus mode back to the job queue and select your job from the list. Give the exhaust and air pump one last check, then press go. For autofocus jobs, the laser head will move to the area of the material that it will start cutting or engraving first and set the table to the correct distance. Then you can sit back and watch your artwork take shape. It's important to stay close by and monitor the laser while it's working. If you encounter any serious problems with your job, you can press stop at any time. During vector cutting, the laser will keep running until it has finished the vector it's working on. You can restart your file by pressing go, or you can reset the laser by pressing reset and try your file again from the beginning. If your laser is left unattended, unexpected problems can cause serious damage. Material could move inside the laser and become a hazard to the laser's moving parts. A file could run incorrectly, resulting in wasted time and material, 
or worse accidents can occur like fire or excessive smoke. In the event of a small flare-up that doesn't go out on its own right away, simply press the stop button. Keep the glass closed and exhaust on to remove any smoke while the fire burns itself out. Epilogue recommends keeping a Halotron fire extinguisher or a multi-purpose dry chemical fire extinguisher nearby in case of a larger fire. The Halotron extinguisher emits a clean, easily removable substance that is not harmful to the mechanics or wiring of the laser system. Other dry chemical extinguishers can sometimes emit a sticky, corrosive powder that's very difficult to clean up. If a flare-up within the machine starts to grow into a larger fire, you may need to open the glass and extinguish the flame. To learn how to reduce the risk of fire in your laser system, check out the other video in this series titled Routine Maintenance for the CNC Laser. This should cover the vast majority of the jobs you'll run on the laser. However, there are some other things that you should know that will help you out for those special circumstances. One thing you should know how to do is to manually focus the laser. In the Epilogue Printer Preferences window, you'll usually check the box Auto Focus, which causes the laser head to automatically adjust the height of the table for the optimal focal point for cutting or engraving. This option works well when your piece of material is a uniform thickness, or when you can position your artwork in the specific place you want to machine on the sheet. However, for some projects, manually focusing the laser is preferred. In these cases, you would not check the auto focus box during printer setup, and you would need to manually focus the laser before pressing go on your file. In this example, I have a piece I want to raster that has a slight curve. Based on my computer file for this piece, the laser would try to set its focus based on the top center of the material if I had selected the autofocus option. This would result in a sharp image near the highest point of my curve and an increasingly fuzzy image as the material slopes away. Instead of allowing the laser to autofocus, I'm going to manually focus the laser based on an intermediate height so that most of the image comes out into sharp focus and the fuzziness is lessened in the highest and lowest areas. To do this, I first need to be sure the autofocus option is not selected when I send my file to the laser. Then to set up my material, I will first lower my table. Then I place my material in the upper left corner of the laser bed. Next I will remove the manual focus gauge from the carriage and put it back upside down so the V-shape points downward and the gauge is locked onto the pegs on the carriage. I'm going to press the XY off button which will allow me to manually move the laser head. Be careful not to touch the laser optics while sliding the head. I'll position the focus gauge over my material about halfway between the lowest and highest points. Then I can press the right arrow to enter focus mode and the up arrow to raise the table. I want to raise the table until the material just touches the manual focus gauge, then stop. I have now set my distance, and I can return the manual focus gauge to its normal position on the carriage. When I press the reset button twice, the laser head will return to its park position at zero zero. Now I can follow the same steps as before to run my file. I close the glass, make sure my exhaust is on, select the correct file from the job queue, and press go. Manually focusing the laser isn't something we normally need to do, but for those special jobs, it's a good skill to know. Hopefully this video helped you get up and running with your CNC laser. To keep your laser running smoothly, check out my other video in this playlist titled Routine Maintenance for CNC Lasers. You can also learn how to create laser cutting graphics in a couple different software programs and how to configure print settings and send files to the laser. Keep an eye out for more videos in the future where I'll cover more specialized techniques for this machine. Good luck and thanks for watching.